Hi, I'm Zach. We're going to talk today about how to improve your 60 yard dash time working on start form. After, we're going to show you a testimonial, and then after the testimonial, we're going to go into specific details about how to improve the start form. When I first came here, I was running like a 7 2, and now I'm down to like a 6 7, 6 8, and my bat speed and my power in game has been off the charts since uh, since coming here. All right, so what we're going over today is the 60 yard start. Obviously, 60 yard dash, you have to build up strength in the legs, strength in the hamstrings, strength in the hips. It's not just going to be about the start, but today we're going to focus just on the start. Okay, go ahead and set up. So, one of the biggest issues is is what happens is go ahead and just set like you normally do. See how his weight's forward. So what kids will do is they'll sit in like a neutral stance like they're stealing a base. Okay, we want to make sure that everything's forward. Just like when we do a 40 start, everything is forward. So if we're doing a 60, this is the position that we want to be in here. So that's number one. The second thing what we want to do is, is we want to make sure that these hips are moving this way like this and this knee's caved in here, okay? You want to feel the pressure in the front of the foot here. This foot's light here, but you don't want to completely straight it out because we are going to be pushing with this leg. Go ahead and demonstrate one. So if you notice here, when he went, he drop stepped this way as he went. So the drop step, in essence, if we're in this position here, okay, and we reach forward like this, it's going to take me this long to get over the center of my body to push. So when we're in this position here, we want to push with this leg as we slightly drop back. So it's here, it's here. And that's gonna allow us to get underneath the center of our body and be as explosive as possible as we can. Go ahead and demonstrate another one. The other thing you wanna do is when you're drop stepping, you don't want this weight to come back this way and then step back with this leg here, okay? You wanna make sure when you're drop stepping that you're pushing forward at the same time that you're dropping. If you go backward at all, then here, you're gonna lose acceleration, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not gonna gain the time that you need. Good. 